Hey everyone, Brett here. We're visiting the Kirby Cafe in Tokyo and in this video I'll show you everything you need to know about booking a reservation, where the cafe is located and give you a first hand look on our experience. We'll check out the delicious foods that we tried and share what you can expect when you visit. First, let me tell you a little bit about the Kirby Cafe. This is a themed cafe dedicated to the adorable and iconic Nintendo character Kirby. It's a must visit for fans offering a whimsical and immersive experience with decor, food, drinks, all inspired by the Kirby world. Now let's talk about booking. Booking this cafe can be an absolute nightmare. Bookings generally come out one month in advance, so be sure to book plenty of time before your trip to Tokyo. Now to book this, all you need to go to is kirbycafe.jp Click on the store you want to go into, either Tokyo or Hakata. From this page, all you're going to do is scroll down, choose a cafe, and click a reservation. Now, if you need to translate these instructions, go to the top corner and change it to English. As you can see, these are all booked out for quite a lot in advance, and the previous month is not yet available. These do come out one month at a time, so be sure to get in quick or else you will miss out. All right, and if you're wanting to see how our journey went at the Kirby Cafe, stay tuned and watch what happens next. And don't make the same mistakes that we did. Guys, we're waiting for the Kirby Cafe. Um, so I had a little bit of a panic attack a little bit. Um, so I thought I had booked it for tonight at 8 o'clock, so that's why we're here in Skytree, so I feel a bit bad that Brett has been a killer time right now. And my heart just stopped when I found out that I booked Disneyland and Kirby Cafe for the same day. Yep, that's right. Larissa double booked us by booking Disneyland and the Kirby on the same day. So Brett was actually quite smart and goes, okay, why well, we'll just ask them. So we went and asked them and they were able to put us in a lot earlier than what we would thought. Um, 6.55, so we're now going to wait for that. Like, Japan, you guys are amazing. You are so accommodating, especially for my mistakes and my uh, organisation. Like, I don't even know how I do my job. But, um, no, thank you guys. You are amazing. Amazing if we didn't have the It's really cool, so we got a nice little just underneath the spider. It's looking very enchanting, so now we're just waiting for our food. So we got these really cool coasters that came with our drink, and the designs are really cute. Brett just got himself a coffee. I think I've kind of given him a bit of a run around today, so he really deserves a coffee right now. And then I got this really beautiful drink. Like, oh, it's so beautiful, and like the amount of detail for everything is amazing. So, I'm gonna give that a go. And here's my Waddle Dee curry that I got. Like, oh, it's so cute. Sleeping. And I got some veggies with it. Some rice. That, oh, looks super good. Look at this. What do you think? It is so cool. Look at it. This is probably my first Japanese curry I've had as well. The presentation. What does it taste oh, like? So Pretty good. It's not bad. No, I'll easily finish that. Fat enough. I felt like they kind of should have been a little bit more spice for it, maybe. Like some of the other curries and some of the other curries they do. Yeah, it's not bad. You, you are pretty much paying for the art of it and everything, but I love this pretty cool. Solid review. Mm. Alright, here we go. Gonna break the ear. Wow. Mm. So hungry. <laughs> Boom. 
yum. That's like a strawberry calcium yogurt. Hope you guys know what that is. So is the Kirby Cafe worth a visit on your next trip to Tokyo? If you love Nintendo and can secure yourself a booking, we definitely recommend it. The food, while fairly average compared to other options in Tokyo, is presented with incredible artwork that makes the experience truly special. If you can't visit the main cafe, there are pop-up cafes in Tokyo Station and other locations around Japan. To see our full vlog of the day, check out the link in the description. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.